Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn something very interesting and it will be very easy. We are going to learn how do we implement page factory in our page object model framework. So this is going to be very easy and as always I will go step by step and we will learn from scratch. Now uh, here before going into the details and before going into the practical hands on let us un understand that page factory and page object model are two different things however we can make use of page factory to make our page object model framework better and in a moment i will show you how it is done so let's get started and before we go into the steps and the demo let us first understand what is page factory now until now if you have been following this session of selenium java framework in the page class where we were finding the elements this is how we have done so we say web element and we give some name to our web element and then we use driver dot find element and by whatever property of the element is available for example if id is available or x path or name we can we find the element by that so if i very quickly go to my framework i go to my project and go to the pages class so the here is my login page dot java and here you can see this is how we are doing it so we are first initializing we are first declaring all these uh, element names and then we are using the by class of selenium by id by x path by name and then we are saying driver dot find element and then we are finding the element now the problem here is here we are searching for that particular element every time we need it so whenever we need that element it will search that element on the page and then we will we can use the element now here the problem is if it is a very simple test case if it if you are using the element just once it is all fine but if you are using the element in 100 test cases or you are uh, you are going to find the elements 100 times it will be a problem so it will repeat the process of finding the element 100 times if you are using it 100 times or if you are using it at 100 places so this is the problem and when your framework when your project becomes very large when you have lots of test cases very long test cases and the elements are need to be referenced multiple times then this can slow down the process okay so here with page factory what we do is we use at find by annotation and then whatever property we have available for the element whether it is id x path name etc we give it like this okay now page factory is also a class within selenium library so we don't have to add anything extra it is within selenium so this is how we do it we say at find by and give the property of that particular element and then also declare the element like this okay now here the uh, the good thing is once we initialize this page class or whenever we create an object of this page class all the elements that we have declared in that class will get initialized in the starting itself or whenever the object of the page class is created so if i show you so this is our page class and when we use this in a test case if i go to my test tests package and go to my login test.java so here whenever we have to use we say so you can say this is how we create object of the page class in our login test class and here when we will use page factory as soon as we do this we will have a statement in the constructor of this login page which will initialize all the elements that we have in this page class whatever we have declared in this page class all will get initialized at the starting so now if you want to use the element 100 times it will not go and search the element on the page 100 times it will get initialized in the starting and you can use it use it as many times as you want to okay now once we do the practical it will be very very clear so let's get started and here just to give you a very brief that with using page factory it will save a lot of time because the elements need not be found again and again then it makes the code cleaner and it also is easier to update now these two things are also valid when we are using page object model but then it makes the code even more clear when we use page factory and it also improves the performance okay so here page factory is a built-in class in selenium so it, there is no extra or separate library that you will have to add for page factory and here as we have seen that 
with page factory elements are initialized once and can be used directly multiple times okay so how page factory works internally this will be very very clear when we do hands on but just for now we will be using at find by annotation to declare the web elements at the start so this is how we will be using it as we have seen there we will use at find by annotation and then we will be using this statement in our constructor that is page factory dot elint init elements driver this so this whenever this will be called all the elements that you have declared in your class will get initialized in the starting and then they will be available to use as many times as you want okay so this is how page factory will help us so let's go into the demo and let's do hands on and see how it is done step number one is just check that you have the selenium dependency added in your pom.xml file so this is already there we don't have to add anything extra just check go to your pom.xml and here you can see we already have this selenium dependency added okay selenium java maven dependency is already added in our project so if it is not you can add it and then if uh, after adding you save your project if it shows any errors you can go to the command line go to the path of your project folder and run the command mvn clean install or mvn minus u clean install to update your maven project okay this is step number one now step number two is we will go to our login page dot java or wherever you are uh, declaring your elements you can go to that place that class and then here we will do the page factory implementation okay so let's go to our login page dot java okay and i will also expand this okay now here this is what we are going to do we are going to use we are this is how we are going to declare the elements so we are saying web element username text box web element password text box so whatever elements you want to use on that page you will keep on declaring the elements like this and at the top of each declaration we will use this at find by annotation by page factory and also give the property of the element that will be used to find the element okay so now see all this uh, the, all this that we have done earlier this i have explained very well in the page object model session so just in case you have not watched the page object model uh, lecture you can watch that first and then come here although as i have already said that page object model and page factory are two different things however page factory is very well suited and very well used with a page object model design framework okay because in a page object model we have all the elements of that particular page in a single class so therefore it will be very easy and efficient and uh, very meaningful to implement page factory here okay so here i will this is already there driver declaration is already there i will just say so i will keep on adding the declaration of web elements that i want so here I will say web element and username text box so this is a login page so we have username password and login button okay and give us semicolon at the end then I will say web element password text box web element login button okay and if i hover over web element i will get this auto suggestion to get it from our selenium library so this is what i will click and if i show you the imports this is added here okay now at the top of each of these declarations i will say at find by and it will show an error so you will hover over this and it should show us the option to get it from our selenium library so this is this is page factory class within our selenium library and then in the brackets i will say whatever property is available so for this id is available so i will say id equals to so i'm just going to copy this from here okay i'm not showing the process of uh, you know how I got this ID how I got this X path this I have shown in the page object model uh, session so just check from there in case you 
have not watched that so this is done similarly for password i will say at find by if i press control and space on my keyboard it is giving me auto suggestion as well so this is again id and this is password and for login button we had used xpath so i will here say at find by and here i will say xpath equals and this is the xpath that we are using i will copy this from here and give it here okay and this is done and now i don't need these i can just remove them so you can delete them or i am pressing control plus forward slash on my keyboard to comment all these lines so i'm just commenting them out so that uh, i can refer them in case needed later on but if you want you can delete them too because now we are using these okay so this is done we have declared the elements now next is so we have uh, used at find by which is a page factory which is coming from page factory class now here we will not be using driver dot find element because at find by annotation of page factory will take care of everything so we are not going to use driver dot find element and we are going to remove this from our code if we have used it so before that what we need to do is in our constructor so i this i have explained earlier also constructor is a function with the same name as the class name so you can see our class name is login page so we have given the same name to this function so constructor is a function with the same name as class name without a return type so we don't have any return type here and the feature or function of constructor is this will be called whenever the object of this class will be created so if we have to uh, force the user to give us some inputs or if we have to you know do some something some setup as soon as the object of the class is created we can create a constructor like this and we can add our required code there so what will happen is in our login test when we call this statement when we create a object of the login page class it will directly first call this constructor and here we can do whatever we have to do whenever we want that this should be done whenever this the object of this class is created so earlier we have initialized our web driver here now what we are going to do is along with this we are also going to add this page factory dot init elements statement so i will say uh, page factory and if i press control space you can see this is coming from our selenium library dot init and i'm also getting this auto completion init elements and here i will say so i will say driver and this so this will pass this here okay so this is what we have to do and what this does is now whenever this the object of this page will be created or object of this class will be created this will be called and this will find and initialize all these elements in the starting so these elements will be available and whenever you want to use these elements they will be available to use without having to search the elements on the web page every time you want to use them so this is the main advantage of using page factory okay so we have done this now after this we will also so before uh, going to login test.java we will also go and update our functions that we are using to do the actions like enter username enter password and click login so now we will say here so instead of driver dot find element so as we have discussed now we don't need to do this driver dot find element we can just say whatever name we have given to our element so it is username text box here so i will say username text box if i press control spacebar it is auto completing and now i can directly use the actions like dot clear then i want to add something i will say username dot text box dot send keys and i want to send this username what we get as a input of this function i will do this and now we don't need this way i can remove them or i can 
press control forward slash to comment these two lines okay similarly for password as well i will say here password text box dot clear password text box dot send keys and this is what i want to send here password which is coming as the input of this function and i will remove or comment these statements and similarly for click login i will say login button dot click and i don't need this now okay so this is how we update our login page dot java or whatever page class you are using this is how you will update it first you will declare the elements like this and then use the head find by annotation from page factory and give the properties whatever is available to find those elements and then we just use uh, and then we add this in our constructor so that these will be initialized at the beginning or whenever the object of this page will be created object of this class will be created and then in the action methods we just choose the name of the objects and add the actions okay so this is what we have done okay so we have done step number two we have updated login page dot java to implement page factory now step number three is we will also go to login test dot java and now we will make sure that everything will be using page factory now we don't have to make any changes in login test or java if we are using page object model we have already done everything earlier the only thing we wanted to do is update the login page so that we can implement page factory let us go to login test and check if we need any changes so we are going to login test or java and here if you see uh, here we are creating the object of the login page which is fine and that's it we don't need anything else because now all these changes that we have to do we have already done in our login page so when this function will be called if i press control on my keyboard so this becomes a link if i click on this enter username function it takes us here to this login page dot java function and you can see now it is already using page factory so ideally we should not have to make any changes in this login test dot java okay we can now run and test our framework and our project so i'll just go to login test dot java and i will click on run just to make sure that everything runs fine so it has started and opens the browser maximizes and yes it is adding it is running our tests and it is all fine okay so it was able to find the objects and take action on the objects as we have scripted in our login page dot java so everything is fine so this is how we can make use of page factory i hope this was very useful if you have any questions you can let me know and i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning